So I've seen other uh, model siren timers before, and I figured I'd do a video of mine today. I just got this installed, actually, I just finished about a minute ago. And I tested it and everything works out, so I figured what the heck, I'll go ahead and make a video. I don't have the siren yet, this is just the uh, the timer. Uh, as you can see, that little black cord is plugged in down there with a the little wall wart power adapter. Pretty much this is just a relay module. Uh, it's not, that power supply is not going to be end up, my shadow's in the way. That power supply is not going to end up powering the siren as well as this. Uh, this right here is a timer for, uh, well, we use it for Christmas lights in the winter time, and it runs the filter for the pool in the summer. Uh, but anyway, so like the original, this is my model AR timer. Uh, I didn't have time to paint it yellow, so whatever. You got test here, attack, or alert, attack, and cancel. So, pretty much test, normal, S siren stays on for as long as you hold the button. Uh, attack, or alert, excuse me, that stays on for as long as you want. You gotta hit the cancel button to shut it off. I gotta try and find some sort of a small timer that will close two contacts after about three minutes. I'll wire that in so that after three minutes it'll automatically hit cancel. Uh, then for attack here, I need to make a different cam wheel for it, but there's a uh, timer motor inside. Turns it on for about 20 seconds then turns off for about 20 seconds. Well, let's see here. Next time it turns on, I'll count. About 10 seconds. So yeah, and like that one, you gotta manually reset. So yeah, I gotta find a couple of uh, three-minute timer relays and uh, wire those in so that they'll shut off it manually or automatically. I'm tired. Sorry. Um, let me show you the insides here. If I have enough memory in my cell phone, one small Phillips head screw. Covers open. There's the uh, timer. Got about six relays in here. Uh, there's the terminal block. I have remote activation for uh, alert attack and cancel. So if I can get like a three channel garage door receiver and hook it up, I can have remote controlled siren activation and cutoff. So that'll be kind of cool. I can turn this on and off from my room while it's in the shed. Alright guys, that's really it. Thanks for watching.